this one together. Uh, let's leave this open for a little bit chest hair. Hello everyone, glad you tuned in for episode 6. In this video, I will show you how to shoot powerful b-roll footage. Now when it comes to shooting videos, it's important to shoot extra footage that you can add to your story to make the video look more engaging. By just adding b-roll footage, you can make your video so much more professional. B-roll is used as a secondary footage that goes on top of the primary A footage that helps enhance the story. Story. So to give you an oh, ah, ah, ah. to give you an example and make this tutorial more engaging, me and my girlfriend are now going on a trip to the Swiss lake called the Klöntaler Lake, and I'm gonna take you with me. Let me pack my camera equipment. So we're here at the Klöntaler Lake. I decided to come here because it's beautiful. I mean, look at this place. The mountains and the clouds and the, the blue lake. What else do you want? Come join me, guys. Come, come. Oh, I don't want to do this video. I just want to chill here and uh, just enjoy the sun. But YouTube is more important. That's why I want to show you how I do my B-roll shots. All right. Try planning your shots in advance. If you know the location and the story you want to tell, try finding what shots you need to help tell the story. So in this example, my story is about me and my girlfriend taking a trip to the Klöntaler Lake. So I needed B-roll shots of me and my girlfriend packing our stuff, heading towards the car, driving off and arriving to this spot right here. In other words, I transitioned from a A-roll shot, which is me talking in my studio, to a B-roll shot heading towards this lake here. Do some location scouting. Look for interesting spots and plan the shots you want to get ahead of time. Aha! Make sure it matches. Make sure your B-roll matches with what you are talking about. It makes no sense to talk about the beautiful lake and show a smelly sock that isn't even relevant to the video. Get a lot of angles. Try getting a variety of shots of the subject from different angles. Shoot wide, shoot medium, shoot close-ups to have more options in post. Trust me. Overshoot. <laughs> it's best to overshoot than having not enough B-roll footage. Often you end up needing more than you thought you would. So. Keep that record button on, keep that, keep that camera rolling. It's really fun to get creative with your B-roll shots. The key to B-roll is shooting a lot of footage that helps to tell the story. Don't be lazy, give yourself some time and think of interesting ways to capture the image that gives your story more pep. All right guys, enough of this video. I will enjoy my stay here and I will see you the next time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. This will help me grow this channel even more. All right, so enough of the talking. I don't want to talk with you anymore. I don't like this. <laughs> oh my God. All right, see you the next time, guys. Nice. I need fire.